stage now, Alicia Dixon has the results and she's going to tell us who's going through and who's going home. Alicia. Okay, this is the moment of truth. Mr. Courier, the judges have made <laughs> their final decision. I'm sad to say that you're out of the competition. Very sorry. Uh, Mr. Brazil, I can tell you that you are out of the competition. Very sorry. Czech Republic, the judges have made their final decision and I can tell you that you are in the competition still. Congratulations. Germany, I'm sorry to say that you're out of the competition. Greece, you're going home tonight. Mr. Nigeria, I'm pleased to tell you that you're in the competition still. Congratulations. Mr. Ireland, how do you think you did? Ask me to ask. <laughs> You're in the competition. Congratulations. <laughs> Mexico, I'm sorry to say this, but you're going home tonight. <laughs> Mr. Guadalupe, you're going home tonight. Sorry. <laughs> Mr. Northern Ireland, the judges have made their decision. I'm sorry to say you're going home tonight. Mr. Wales, you're going home tonight. Very sorry. Mr. Lebanon, the judges have made their final decision. I'm pleased to tell you, you're in the competition. Congratulations. <laughs> you look fabulous tonight, Mr. India, but unfortunately you're going home. Very sorry. I'm pleased to say that the Netherlands has made it through to the final. Congratulations. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your five Mr. World finalists. Hi, hey everyone. I'm Josef Keras of the Czech Republic. We're a country of culture, sports, and arts. I competed here, actually in this stadium, in 2003 at the World University Games. As a professional athlete, I competed in many international competitions, finishing in the top 20 in, in the decathlon. Since then, I've been doing um, sports consultation, helping secondary school students from Europe find scholarships in North America. I hope you all have a great night, and I hope you enjoy yourselves here in, in Egypt. Hi, my name is Kanta Koli. I'm representing Nigeria. I'm a marketer and also a runway model and a picture model. I love food, like um, fried rice and chicken. And I'm also like a sportsman, I'm athletic. Like, I do sports like swimming, table tennis and dancing. Thank you very much. Hey guys, this is Kamal here from Ireland. Nice to meet you all. I'm a 24-year-old model from Limerick City. Um, I'm a graduate as well. I studied uh, HR and training, um, but I've been working full-time as a model in Ireland for the last few years. My passion in life is flying. I'm an aviation guy. I love to fly. I was in the States for a few years uh, studying flight school, and I got my private pilot's license. My one dream, other than, of course, winning the Mr. World title, is to be a professional airline pilot. So hopefully one day, you'll miss the world 2010 at the controls of your next flight to Korea. And uh, maybe I'll see you guys there. Take it easy. Hi, my name is Abdurrahman Bala. I'm 23 years old. I am really proud to represent my country, Lebanon, here in Korea and Mr. World. I am a university student. I'm studying business management and finance. Uh, I'm having a great time here. I'm going to ask you to wish me luck. Uh, for me and all the contestants here, uh, they are my friends now. Uh, and thank you a lot. Hello, my name is Honza Filippi from the Netherlands. I'm 27 years old. I've studied uh, vision and media in the Netherlands. And at this moment, I'm busy with modeling. And later, I would like to become a well-known actor. I met a lot of good guys here. They're all, all friendly. So I'm very happy. Thank you.
the final team challenge, Taekwondo. Blue skies in the land of the morning, Cam greeted the Mr World contestants as they arrived at Bulguksa Temple, a UNESCO World Heritage Site and home to several national treasures. It's a pretty impressive place, it's a culture and character here, yeah. fantastic. They toured the grounds taking in this masterpiece of ancient Buddhist art dating from the Shilla Kingdom. The potential benefits of Korean culture weren't lost on some of the contestants. If you rub the pig, it gives you good luck, so I'm, uh, I'm wishing for Mr. World or something. <laughs> In front of the 33 steps of the temple, representing the 33 heavens of Buddhism, the Mr. World contestants took part in their last team challenge, Taekwondo. Taekwondo! Splitting into two groups, blue and yellow, and red and black, the contestants were taught the basic punches and kicks by black belt masters. Quick to learn, the guys were soon proficient in their first kata or lesson of Taekwondo. All the while, they were being closely examined by their tutors. Individually, Czech Republic and Peru were singled out as the Mr. World Taekwondo champions. But in the all-important team challenge, it was the red and blue teams who were deemed to be the best. Taekwondo is the last of our team challenges, and I'm now able to reveal our Mr. World team champions. Well, we couldn't separate two, the two teams, so we have joint winners, actually. Congratulations to the red and blue team! They definitely were the worthy winners. I'm here with our five finalists with the all-important last question. Now, Mr. Czech Republic, which of the other finalists would you choose as Mr. World and why? Um, I would actually choose someone, uh, choose two people from the blue group. Uh, one would be Cyprus, my roommate, and the other would be Belgium. It's because both those people um, the friendliest and um, just most sincere people I've met in a long time. Oh, that's sweet. So are you. Thank you. Mr. Nigeria, tell us, what makes you so desirable? What makes me so desirable is, uh, one, my height, the courage, and my accomplishments. I have a good sense of humor, plus I'm handsome. Some ladies can say that, you know? Yeah, and... Um, I'm also very modest and ambitious. Very nice. Mr. Nigeria, everybody. Okay, Mr. Ireland. If you became Mr. World, who would you choose as your desirable woman? You, of course. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I like to dance, I like to sing, I like to talk, I like to do a range of different things, and the most desirable woman for me would be someone just like that, open to life, someone who is open to herself, as someone who is beautiful on the outside and beautiful on the inside. And like I said, I'm lucky because I know I've got her at home. I know she's watching this at home, so <laughs> hi, darling. Um, so that, she's, she's at home waiting for me, so I'm very lucky. That was a great answer. Mr. Ireland, everybody. Okay, Mr. Lebanon, tell us, why should the judges select you as Mr. World? Well, uh, I think because I did uh, all my best here, uh, to represent my country and I uh, and of course the the black team all my friends and uh, I think they know the characteristics more than I because they was the audience they knew what I was doing I was trying all my best so I think because of that thank you. congratulations I wish you all the best Mr. Lebanon everybody okay and finally we have Mr. Netherlands and my question to you is why would I choose you as my desirable man? Okay. Well, uh, I'm one of the guys that is taller than you. And you are a very <laughs> tall girl, so you need a guy that's taller than you. Very, true. very good answer. Mr. Netherlands, everybody. Thanks, guys. Mr. World Organization is proud of the work done by the contestants in supporting those less fortunate than themselves. And as we're about to see, they have given their full support whenever called upon. 
When a call for help came through from charity Habitat for Humanity International, a group of Mr. World contestants were only too happy to oblige. They travelled to a site in Hwasong where the charity is building a centre for people who can't afford regular housing, just one of their projects around the world to help the homeless. I'm trying to pick up all the loose pieces of wood and bring it down to the first floor. We need to clear all this up so that you know, they, uh, the, they can continue to the next step. Proving that many hands do indeed make light work, the guys got on with tasks such as clearing debris, cutting wood and putting up mouldings. We're trying to get organised and sort it out. I think the machine's working now so we're going to get started, chop some wood and uh, glue it up on the roof there. That's the plan. Habitat for Humanity International has built 700 houses across Korea like this one and now it can add an additional 28 young men to its impressive total of 70,000 volunteers. The judges have made their choice. But first, let's welcome back our five finalists. And the Czech Republic. Nigeria, Northern Ireland, Lebanon, and the Netherlands. Presenting the winning trophy, please come welcome Juan Garcia, the reigning Mr. World and three Miss Worlds. With all the results, the chairman of Miss World Limited, Julia Morley. I shall announce the results in reverse order. In third place, Nigeria. Second place, Czech Republic. The world 2010 is Ireland. Congratulations, Mr. World 2010. I like the sound of that. How does that feel? Uh, I'm a bit lost for words right now. I don't know what to say, but I'll tell you one thing, guys. This one is for you, Yellow Team. Go, Yellow Team! Yeah! <laughs> oh, team, yeah. Come on, Ireland! Woo! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Kamal Ibrahim is Mr. World 2010. Thanks to the mayor and city of Incheon. Goodbye from Dahe and myself. The hard work is over. It's time to party out with Alicia Dixon and the world's most desirable man. Does you wash up? Never wash up. Does you clean up? No, he never cleans up. Does you brush up? Never brush up. He does nothing. The boy does nothing. Does you wash up? Never wash up. Does you clean up? No, he never cleans up. Does you brush up? Never brush stuff. 